why Reggae Plus is a good fit for um, AI, machine learning, chat GPT companies. Well, there's, there's a number of different dynamics here. We don't usually see the rate of acceptance of a new category of business or investment um, that we've seen here with chat GPT. Obviously, I think all of you are very aware that um, chat GPT is, is experiencing, is, is showing with open AI, uh, open AI is showing that they're developing and expanding the envelope of application for chat GPT extremely rapidly. And the field is expanding extremely rapidly, but perhaps most important when it comes to raising money, the awareness of people, even main street consumers who aren't particularly tech savvy are hearing an awful lot about chat GPT. So that because of that level of interest, and frankly, the number of people who missed out on buying Nvidia stock when it was at a lot lower price than it is now. Not to say that it's going to keep on going up and up the way that it has, but there's a lot of people sitting on the sidelines wishing that they had anticipated that trend and that they bought into, you know, to Nvidia earlier. So there's a lot of appetite at the moment in the market from investors for attractive companies that are doing neat things in this space. So whenever you see strong appetite on a large scale, which we certainly have at the moment, then the opportunity is much richer to, to raise money, obviously, obviously. And because a lot of the things that one can do with chat GPT based, based businesses are understandable and explainable to Main Street investors, which is one of the key ingredients in successful online marketing of your race. It has to be something attractive. You know, somebody's in their social media feed and they see an advertisement that is appealing. It has to be understandable, it has to be clear, it has to be appealing. Then we can draw them in and when they arrive on the offering page, it has to be clear cut and understandable and appealing. But when we have those things working, then um, if, if people consider it an attractive investment, then getting them to invest can work very well. And I'll get into the, the behavior style of, of Reggae Plus investors in a few minutes. But that awareness, I've already said enough there, you get, this, you get the gist of it. I'll talk in a bit about the kinds of companies doing the sorts of things that I think will be attractive to Main Street uh, Reggae Plus investors. But again, many of the uses of ChatGPT, especially when you get into automated uses, benefit a lot of people, can benefit an awful lot of people, you know, like finding the best investment options for you in the public markets. That's something where ChatGPT is already showing great strength. And I'm not limiting our universe of discussion to ChatGPT. There are other large language models that are useful and specialized and differentiated, but this category. So it's an attractive and huge new investment opportunity area. And it's extremely unusual to get this rate of acceptance of that fact, that kind of fact. You know, the internet wasn't accepted as fast as this. The advent of mobile phones, uh, smartphones, that wasn't as, as rapidly accepted. Uh, the advent of um, the PC also wasn't as rapidly accepted. This is really unusual stuff we're seeing that we're living. So types of companies, of course, you know, this is only limited to one's imagination, but um, biotech is a good example um, because we, we actually helped a company, GATC Health, conduct their Reggae Plus, uh, culminating it uh, last year. They are an AI machine learning company, not a large language model business, but they leverage the combination of the uh, um, using the entire human genome, the entire dual strand DNA um, in order to learn everyone's tendencies and predispositions by gathering data publicly available and through partners worldwide to learn the propensity of people to disease and which medicines work for them and so forth as a fact basis, fact base. And they use that plus very sophisticated AI machine learning modeling of human beings in order to, excuse me, in order to um, predict um, which medicines could be created in order to make medicines much faster and at much less expense than traditional methods with a higher success rate and a lower a, a lower clinical trial expense because of that right higher effectiveness so i believe they've introduced 
it's between four and eight new medicines in a very short space of time and the rate at which they're creating new medicines is accelerating we own stock in Gatsy Health so I have to obviously want you to know that I have a conflict of interest in that but uh, I think it's a marvelous company the point is that it's explainable and understandable more so now than it was when we were marketing that helping that, that company market itself because of the advent of, of chat GPT and its uh, rapid acceptance so that's one category biotech can really benefit there are so many other places to apply but consumer facing applications are the ones that tend to be easiest to explain to a main street investor which helps so you know automating consumer tasks oh you want to figure out how to plan your world tour you know you're going to travel around the globe in eight months and you'd like help doing so chat gpt and variants of it are really good at doing so right picking venues picking activities picking the, the itinerary saving an awful lot of time that can be done at the, at the individual level and also obviously at the travel agent level but that's clear travel booking recipes cooking security using intelligence via um, large language models to protect people who need to be protected, whether it's children or uh, older relatives or infirm family members or others. A lot of opportunity to, uh, there's a lot of opportunity like that, which appeals or opportunities like that, which appeal to Main Street investors where they want to help their family members or parents want to help their daughter stay safe. And you can bet that there's gonna be an awful lot of very useful applications of uh, large language models uh, and similar to help people stay safe apart from you know apart from the the um the new risks that come along with with chat gpt and similar there are new risks uh, of all sorts of things happening so there's opportunities for companies that will solve or reduce those risks right and people care about that too. If we can make sure that people you know, are protected, maximize their protection, again, um, a lot of opportunity there. So automation of things pe that people do by rote. A good friend of mine is an extremely savvy investor and he produces all these models and back testing models and he uses extremely stringent techniques. He's an Excel absolute expert. But he is now using uh, ChatGPT and apps that, that leverage it to automate a large portion of the manual labor stuff that he used to have to do. So it's really improving his business. So he's one guy, but there are a lot of people doing things that would like to benefit from the automation that we can, we can get here. Researching things, researching medicine, researching solutions. Um, researching people's um, you know you've got a, fa a family member with a health issue being able to leverage ai through chat gpt and similar to find solutions you know but there's a lot of leverage there's a lot of legs in this technology which will appeal to consumer investors as well as more sophisticated investors doing good for the community visually appealing activities yeah, those are the sorts of things that resonate in a Main Street investing context.